Welcome to our latest video on understanding strong acids. This video is suitable for AS and A-level students. By the end of this video lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning of the term strong acid and the relationship between pH and the H plus ion concentration. You should also be able to calculate the pH of strong acids at different concentrations and be able to calculate the H plus ion concentration from given pH values. Now in our previous video lessons, we've learned that strong acids such as hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid and nitric acid totally dissociate into H plus ions when you put them in water. And the more H plus ions in solution, the more acidic a substance is. And here we have hydrochloric acid totally splitting up into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. And if I had a thousand molecules of HCl, I'd have a thousand H pluses. Now in contrast with weak acids such as ethanoic acid, they only partially dissociate into H plus ions when you put them in water. So here we have ethanoic acid splitting up into H plus ions and ethanoic ions. And in water, very few molecules of ethanoic acid dissociate into H plus ions. And in fact, there's about four molecules in every thousand that split up. And that's why ethanoic acid is a much weaker acid than hydrochloric acid. Now to show that ethanoic acid only partially dissociates into H plus ions, we put a reversible sign in the equation. Now the pH scale is simply a measure of how much H plus ions there is in solution. The more H plus ions there are in solution, the more acidic a substance is, and the lower the pH. And the relationship between pH and H plus ions is as follows pH is equal to minus log of the H plus concentration. And you can see here that a substance with a pH of 1, for example stomach acid, has a concentration of H plus ions of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. And vinegar, which is pH 2, has less H plus ions in solution. It's got a concentration of 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed. And one pH value is a factor of 10 in terms of the H plus concentration. So stomach acid, which is pH 1, has 10 times the number of H plus ions than vinegar, which is pH 2. And vinegar, which is pH 2, has 10 times the number of H plus ions than orange juice, which is pH 3. Now you have to remember the equation, pH is equal to minus log of the H plus concentration, and remember that the more H plus ions there are, the more acidic and the lower the pH. So now we're going to look at some example calculations where you have to calculate the pH of a strong acid. So if we take the example of hydrochloric acid splitting up into H plus ions and Cl minus ions, the concentration of hydrochloric acid is equal to the concentration of H plus ions. And this is because every hydrochloric acid molecule splits up into H plus. So if we were asked to calculate the pH of a hydrochloric acid solution at a concentration of 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed, we would have an acid concentration of 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. Now every acid molecule splits up into H plus ions, so the concentration of H plus ions is also 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. So to calculate the pH, we simply use pH is equal to minus the log of the H plus concentration, and the H plus concentration here is 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. So minus log of 0.2 gives you a pH of 0.70. Now in the case of hydrochloric acid, each hydrochloric acid molecule split up into one H plus ion. Now some acid molecules split up into more than one H plus ion, and these are referred to as polyprotic acids. So here we have H2A splitting up into two H pluses and an A2 minus ion. And this would represent a polyprotic acid. In fact, it's a diprotic acid because it splits up into two H plus ions. Now sulfuric acid is a polyprotic acid. And sulfuric acid has the formula H2SO4. And when a H2SO4 molecule is placed in water, it splits up into two H plus ions 
and an SO4 2 minus ion, a sulfate ion. And you can see the ratio of sulfuric acid molecules to H plus ions is a 1 to 2 ratio. So if we have a concentration of 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed for sulfuric acid, the concentration of H plus ions is 2 lots of 0.3, it's 0.6 moles per decimeter cubed. Now to work out the pH of this solution, I just minus log 0.6. So a sulfuric acid solution at a concentration of 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed has a pH of minus log of 0.6, which is 0.22. So now let's test your understanding of this with some practice questions. Read for the questions, pause the video, have a go at them, and then we'll go for the answers. So question one is asking me to calculate the pH of the following solution, a solution that contains 0.03 moles per decimeter cubed of H plus ions. So pH is equal to minus the log of the H plus concentration, which is in this case 0.03 moles per decimeter cubed. So pH is equal to minus the log of 0.03. And if I put this into the calculator, it will come out with a pH equal to 1.52. Now for part B, you're asked to calculate the pH for a solution that contains 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed of H plus ions. So pH is equal to minus the log of the H plus concentration, which in this case is 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. So the pH is equal to minus the log of 0.5 and that will give a pH value equal to 0 0.30. So here's question two. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So question two is asking us to calculate the pH of the following solutions. So for part A, we have a solution of hydrochloric acid at a concentration of 0 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed. So hydrochloric acid splits up into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. And the concentration of hydrochloric acid is equal to the concentration of H plus. You can see the equation tells you it's a ratio of 1 to 1. So if the concentration of HCl is 0 0.05, the concentration of H plus is also 0 0.05. So pH is equal to minus log of the H plus concentration so it's equal to minus log of 0 0.05, and that would give me a pH equal to 1.30. Now question B is asking you to work out the pH of a solution of nitric acid at a concentration of 0 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. So nitric acid, HNO3, splits up into H plus ions and NO3 minus ions. And the concentration of H plus ions is also equal to the concentration of acid here because of one to one ratio in the equation. So the concentration of H plus is 0 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. So pH is equal to minus the log of 0 0.25 and that will give me a pH equal to 0 0.60. Now for part C, you're asked to calculate the pH of a solution of sulfuric acid at a concentration of 0 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed. Now sulfuric acid is a polyprotic acid. Each sulfuric acid molecule splits up into two H plus ions. So we have a concentration of acid of 0 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed. So the concentration of H plus ions is twice the concentration of acid here. So it's two lots of 0 0.01. So it's 0 0.02 moles per decimeter cubed. So the pH is equal to minus log of 0 0.02, which gives a pH equal to 1.70. Now we've seen that the following relationship exists between pH and H plus concentration. pH is equal to minus the log of the H plus concentration. Now, in addition to being able to calculate the pH from given H plus concentrations, 
you should be able to do the opposite and calculate the H plus concentrations from given pH values. So to calculate the H plus concentration, we can take our original equation, pH is equal to minus the log of the H plus concentration, multiply both sides by minus one, take anti-logarithms of both sides, and we'll end up with this equation. The concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to the minus pH. So here's an example calculation to show how this works. So here I'm asked to calculate the aqueous hydrogen ion concentration of a solution that has a pH of 2.2. So the concentration of H plus ions is equal 10 to the minus pH. So all I have to do here is put in the pH of minus 2.2 because the equation is 10 to the minus pH. So I do shift log or anti log minus 2.2 and I get a value of 6.31 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed. And that's my H plus concentration. So now let's test your understanding of this with some practice questions. So read through the questions, pause the video, have a go at them, and then we'll go for the answers. So in these practice questions, you're asked to work out the concentrations of H plus ions in the following solutions. So the first solution has a pH of 2.7, so the concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to the minus pH, so it's equal to 10 to the minus 2.7. And if I put that into the calculator, it comes up with a H plus concentration of 1.995 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed. So for B, I'm asked to work out the concentration of H plus ions for a solution with a pH of 6.3. So it's 10 to the minus 6.3, because it's 10 to the minus pH, and that will give me a H plus concentration of 5.012 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per decimeter cubed. And for the last one, I have a solution with a pH of 10.5, so the concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to the minus 10.5, so that will give me a H plus concentration equal to 3.162 times 10 to the minus 11 moles per decimeter cubed. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now be able to explain the meaning of the term strong acid and the relationship between pH and the H plus concentration. You should also be able to calculate the pH of strong acids at different concentrations and be able to calculate the H plus ion concentration from given pH values. So that concludes this video lesson. So please check out our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry, which has lots of GCSE, AS and A-level videos, and our Twitter site, at Radochemistry.